If you're a sports fan and you love your team, and who isn't, you got to check out Fanatics.com. It's the best place for fan gear from the game's most trusted brands. Authentic fan gear from the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL, NCAA, college football, and basketball. Jerseys, hoodies, T-shirts, hats, collectibles, and more, all on Fanatics. It's the world's largest collection of official fan gear from all the leagues, teams, and players you love. Official licensed everything. Go to Fanatics.com for gear and show love for your teams this season. Fanatics, love le never loses. And here on Fanatics Fan Day is a man who signed a jersey of the team that he loves uh, from the new show on ABC, Notorious, that debuted last Thursday and airs tonight at 9 on ABC. Ryan Guzman, good to see you, brother. How are you? Good to see you, too, my man. Good to have you back here. Thank you. Good to be back. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Uh, last time you were here, A-Rod was uh, hitting bombs for the Yankees, and now he is, not by the way, just announced today that mm -hmm. he's going to be back on the postseason coverage of baseball on Fox. So he's part of is the paparazzi. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's man. He's part of the paparazzi now. He's joined. Yeah, he's like he's just like Michael Strahan and everybody else now. Yeah, he, he, yeah you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not yeah. wrong. So how did you become a Yankees fan? How are you Yankees uh, fan? I was a Yankees fan when I was a kid because my my favorite player, Andy Pettit. I mean, I was a left-handed pitcher. He was a left-handed pitcher. I tried to do the same pickoff move he did. Uh, I wanted his curveball until Barry Zito came out, and then uh, oh, the you know, Zito one is the that Zito one nasty. was crazy. Start yeah. behind your head and then wind up on the yeah, other yeah, opposite yeah. And part I threw the around the same the speed. Uh, well, at the time, okay. seventy two miles an hour was like perfect for me. So. Right. So did you have a cutter? Do you have a, a cutter? I had a cutter. I had a I had a curveball. I had a slurve. I, I tried everything at one point in time, but the thing that probably held on most was uh, probably the slurve and and then uh, the changeup. Did you yeah. have a screwball to get the action to come I kinda back inside? I kind of held it weird, actually. I, I didn't hold a circle change, but I kind of yeah. kept them in between these two fingers, and I yes. just pushed it. Now, what's the, uh, what was your strategy against the left-handed hitter? Say, like, let's uh, what, which left-handed hitter should we choose, Chris Command Center? Let's choose... Uh, One of the best in the game, maybe? Well, that was... Yeah. He, 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 homered, he homered yesterday. He homered yesterday. Homered yesterday. Homered yesterday. Oh, Tim yeah. Tebow. Oh, yeah. Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim Tebow. Tebow. Oh, yeah, I saw him in the Mets. Yeah, hitting that <laughs> home run, huh? First at bat. All right, Oppo. good day. He went yeah. oppo. That was crazy. So he's sitting on the, on the outside corner. Corner here. I mean, I'm making him fall out of his seat, man. I'm throwing that that slurve again, dude. I, I want him out of the box. Yeah. Okay. It's either a high heat or, or inside curve. Did you have, have you ever heard the sound that his that the ball makes when it hits his bat? Have you ever heard that sound? No, no, no. I, like I, don't, I don't think I would hear that. I think I would hear the sound of the mitt as it hit that strike three. Well, we have it actually exclusively here on the Rich Eisen show. Go, go for it. it. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> there oh, it is. man, the gods have uh, yeah, opened, blessed him. They open up. They opened up. Well, I mean, what do you think of when you hear that, though? That Because you're a guy who went from baseball to acting, yeah. right? Now, here's a guy who wants to go from football to baseball. I mean, he was a, a three-sport uh, player when he was younger, right? Sure. Uh, uh, so I, I feel like he's an athlete all, all, all together. And uh, honestly, he's kind, of, he's kind of done everything, whether he was trying to be a halfback for the Jets mm -hmm. or... Uh, a QB for the Jets. Nice. That was air uh, quotes for the radio audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I hopefully, you know, he actually catches wind and, and can get in the Mets organization and, you know, climb his way up to the top. Because I'd, I'd love to go to a Mets game and see Tebow hitting home runs. So would the Mets, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they would love that. I'd bring viewership up. Oh, my gosh. I mean, let's not kid each other. Uh, yeah. He is absurdly popular. Oh, and... for sure. If ever he hit a home run at the Mets stadium, I would Tebow it out. For instance, how many instructional league players do you normally talk about during a business day? I don't. Very true. That's <laughs> Yeah, I haven't you know what I mean? met one person in single A. I, I couldn't name you another instructional league player. Probably not. I couldn't. I've got Ryan Guzman here on... Um, uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, so Notorious is about a uh, TV network, right? Mm -hmm. You play a production assistant whose dad is the network president, so you got some nepotism working on here. Yep, a lot of nepotism right there. And, and then they're uh, uh, just reading the cast here. Uh, there's a lot of ladies on this sh I'm show. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, Piper okay. Parabo, Amy T. Garden, we have separate. Actually, who was a fan of Amy? I saw somebody start Hello, blushing and well, uh, closing I think, their laptop. I think, I think the, uh, the both Chris command centers okay. made um, an ungentlemanly guttural noise just upon hearing mm -hmm. the pronunciation of her name. Mm -hmm. I actually want to hear it again. What's her Amy name again? Amy Teagarden. Oh. oh, there it's it right is. There. there it is. From yeah. Friday Night Lights, the coach's daughter. <laughs> coach's daughter. Yeah. One yeah. of the greatest TV shows, not just sports show. Because the best parts about Friday Night Lights <clears> was about the coach's relationship with his wife and his daughter. Those yeah. are the best scenes from, from that. And she's in that, too. Yeah, yeah. She was a big part of that uh, 
Um, and it's crazy actually to see how many people kind of uh, drop their jaws when they see her. And well, it's not crazy actually; it's to be expected. I mean, look, sure. at her. she's gorgeous. So, uh, uh, Chris Brockman is a single man, uh, and you may not <laughs> know it, just looking at a broken shell of a man. Broken yeah. shell. Uh, yeah. A lonely okay. broken shell of a man. Nothing on the inside. Um, is you sound would, like just the type for Amy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would would it, would this be even in the uh, Realm of possibility, area code within the right area code within um, the same zip code. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll get back to you on that one. I'll, I'll talk to her. I'll have her people contact your yeah, people. Do you need Maybe like a PA for the day, and I can come hang out on there the set? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Show some nepotism here, yeah. and then how you yeah, there we go. We'll work it out. Yeah, they're actually forward. notorious that they they are referring to you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's referring. Oh, to yeah. you. that's yeah. you. By the way, that was a very nice way. That was a nice way of telling him he has no shot. Yeah. Oh man, very polite. You can create your shot, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Hey, the only shots uh, you miss, Rich, are the ones you don't take. That's a guy spoken like a guy who's been kicked out of oh. every rec league basketball <laughs> <laughs> court in yeah. a very long yeah. time. Um, so, again, it just looks like a, a fun show. Have you learned anything about the TV business you want to pass along to me? Because oh, you know, I've been in it for 20 it's years. It's actually made me a little bit more uh, aware of what actually goes on in the TV business, the media business, and the legal system as well. Because mm -hmm. it's how these two worlds intertwine with Piper Perabo's character and Daniel Sanjata's, mm -hmm. um, both based on Wendy Walker and uh, Mark Garagos. Mm -hmm. And Mark Garagos has been, you the know. The lawyer of, of, of everybody. Everybody. Michael yeah. Jackson, right? Michael Jackson. He actually mm -hmm. was just the lawyer for Chris Brown when he was going through his old thing a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and Tarzana. It was, it was crazy, actually. What happened with Chris literally happened a week before what we had just filmed. So Ripped Mark, from the headlines. Swear to you, yeah. We had just filmed an episode of, of one of our guys coming out with his hands up doing the exact same thing Mark was telling Chris to do. No kidding. Yeah, so it's, it's, that parallel kind of makes it a little eerie. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it, def it definitely uh, does make me uh, aware that uh, the media, there's a lot more than meets the eye. Uh -huh. Yeah, interesting. And so we, you, you mentioned before you stepped out here um, that you, you have a back issue. So you're normally, you're, a, and you're an MMA guy, right? I'm an MMA guy, you're yeah. So you get in the octagon yourself, correct? I would love to, but no, I, I, what happened? I haven't done an octagon fight in five years. Five, five and a half years. I mean, I've gotten in the octagon to train. You can't mess with the money maker, Ryan. Mm, Come on I now. mean, I'm making, I'm making too much money right now. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I mean, we don't need you walking onto the set of Notorious with, yeah. you know, yeah. black Yeah, I iron. still train, though. I train every day. But that's that's probably the reason why I have a pulled muscle is uh, I was training on a pulled muscle for ten and a half months, still fighting. I still spar with anybody that wants to throw hands or throw legs. Throw so, hands. Yeah, if you want to, you want to, you know. Do I, little, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't no. know if I've ever. Th I throw mics. Throw mics. Uh, oh, okay. That's the, those are the yeah. Yeah. But figuratively, no. I mean, I'm not a terror on the set or anything. Throw <laughs> like so verbal jabs, right? Verbal, verbal yes, verbal jabs. Right. Yes. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's fun though, man. I invite whoever is out there um, that's you know a fan of martial arts or wants to learn how to do martial arts or is just mm -hmm. somebody that can beat my own butt, and uh, I learned from that. And and Tyler Hecklin, who's been on this show. Tyler Hecklin actually is is is, a, is my roommate. I don't know if he's your people, roommate. Yeah. So you and Tyler Heck, but it's because whenever he comes on, and you too, I, 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 the show gets followed by a bunch of people <laughs> with a, hearts emojis in their in their Twitter handle. Oh yeah, I you can know? imagine for Tyler for sure. Yeah, I mean he's Superman for God's sake. So I, yeah, I know. Yeah, imagine living next to that Mr. Perfect all the time. Yeah, <laughs> so the two of you are. Yeah. So do you split the cable bill or something like that? I mean, yeah, we it? split the cable bill. We split really? everything. But he's he's never home, and when he is home, I'm taking it to him on the pool table. I'm, a, I'm calling him out on okay. national television. I like it. And wow. he doesn't want to see me on ping pong either. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love having you on here, uh, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks for coming on here, and good luck with Notorious. Thank you, And uh, let us know uh, how Brockman does when you float the Brockman balloon to Amy Teagarden. Yes. All right, will do. And, yes. well, well, Piper uh, Piper Parabu, yes. right? Par how do I say her last name? Parabu. Yeah. Parabu. Okay. Uh, she's a big Cowboy fan from what She I is a huge Cowboy fan. I didn't realize, actually, she's probably- like nuts. Yeah. Huge, 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 and okay. uh, I'm not even that big of a Raiders fan, but okay. uh, yeah, she makes me feel like a little boy sometimes. Okay, so we'll get Piper Parabo <laughs> on, and uh, Amy T. Garden uh, within 100 yards of Brockman is a no-no, and yeah, then, then yeah, that'll be we'll that. Yeah, quarantine that section for her. Thanks ah. for coming on. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You got it. Thank you, sir. Okay. That's Ryan Guzman. Check out Notorious tonight and every Thursday at 9 Eastern time. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.